Hey guys. So, this is Leo, and I don't know what to talk about. It's weird. I can't sleep. It's beyond midnight, it's like one after. And there's a shit ton going through my mind. There's a lot that I want to do, and it's that I don't know what to talk about. For people who happen to stumble onto my YouTube channel, um, I'm gonna say I'm Leo. This, yeah, I've been playing my Nintendo 3DS. But okay, introduction. My name is Leo. Um, in the army, currently in Germany. Been in the army for a really long time since 2006. Um, I'm also homosexual, gay, same-sex orient, LGBT, whatever you want to call it. Um, never had sex with a woman before, so whatever, who cares if, whoever cares about that will know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I can't sleep. And I want to say that life pretty much sucks for me right now. Shit that has been going on with my life. Um, yeah, having financial issues, family issues. Um, I guess I'll start there with my family issues. Um, Oh, <clears throat> grew up with uh, abuse and foster families, and my original family was the reason why I got into foster care, but I never got any better. Eventually, uh, I had a brother, or have a brother, I say I had, because that's where the financial issue comes in, along with my blood mother, blood mother, blood brother, blood family. Um, the only reason I mention them as family is because they're related to me by blood, but beyond that, they're worthless people. My foster family as well, they're just horrible people. And I, I, I knew of them Growing up, they're in the background in my mind. Like they're there, but never really knew them. I don't know them. They're strangers to me. So before I joined the army, like I tried to have that family connection with them, and for the longest time, I had struggle. I supported them financially. Emotionally, psychologically, anything like a, a son would do for a mother and what a sibling, a brother would do for their brother. But they've been toxic to me. They've caused me more harm than anything. And over the years, they just kept adding more and more problems onto my chest. And apparently, this year was the last straw that broke the camel's back. But that's that. Um, uh, I've always known that I was gay. Yeah, I know, I changed the topic, but that's that. Uh, no, I'm wearing a shirt from. Well, I'll subscribe to, uh, Are You Surprised? This guy, Air Force guy who's gay, but I think, yeah, his video was pretty viral a while ago. He came out to his mother and over the phone. No, it was his dad. Over the phone. And I thought it was pretty cool. And how he was dealing with it. And... He tried to do like a news thing where he could update information and he has a website 
at the website. Maybe my next video I'll talk about that. But uh, there's a website where he makes shirts. Or there's shirts, different colors, green, blue, tan. If you're in the military, um, with these shirts have some funny things. And this one says, "I think my boyfriend is gay." <laughs> Own two of them, wear them around wherever. I want to go to the deep like, dining facility uh, or to the gym and I always get those awkward looks from fellow soldiers who are like, who the fuck is this guy? And I don't know, people don't realize I'm gay. Which is weird. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know. So yeah, like my childhood, psychology is like one of the major things that I and like. I want to be a psychological anthropologist. Um, so being abused, so being abused growing up, I quickly distrusted people and hated them, and wanted to find out ways to know if someone was lying and everything. And then got into psychology human body language and all that stuff really taught me a lot but it, things changed over the years and when I joined the army things got better learned different things and opened to different a whole bunch of stuff and yeah oh, no, I forgot where my train thought was on that But yeah, psychology is my thing. Um, so Freudian slip when I said that was weird. Like you know, it's weird at the gym when people see my shirt. They give me weird looks, and me saying it's weird. That they think things, but I don't know. And and then over analyzing, but. I am I don't know what I'm going to but I'll go back. I always knew that I was a homosexual. That I like men, I preferred men, I was attracted to men. And um I was born in uh raised in Texas, born in Texas as well, but raised in Texas and Guatemala because I'm Guatemalan. And um when I was 14, uh, when I was open, I did have a girlfriend at the time, and because I was supposed to have a girlfriend, I guess, as a boy, my age, but, <sighs> told she wanted to have sex with me, and I couldn't lie anymore why I was holding it off, and then I had to explain that yes I'm gay and she made a big deal about it and a few very close friends knew and then she ran off and exposed me but cool whatever I dealt with it and grew up with hardships random people hitting me fights I got hit with lead pipes random chairs um, knives and random things No. It's strange. I mean, why I can't sleep? There's so much things that are going on from one bullshit to more bullshit. And really? I feel hopeless. I feel hopeless. I feel hopeless.
Then who knows? Maybe things will get better. Not because of me. Okay, it's... Life has always sucked for me. Being abused, being beaten up for being gay. Trusting people, hoping that they'll be there for me. And work. The military is, I mean, I know it's hard. Life is gonna suck. There's gonna be those shitty days. But, I mean, I've seen a lot. There's a lot of good in the world. There's a hell of a lot more evil, despicable, disgusting things in the world. But there's just a few small people who want things to be better. And that's what I want. To make things better for somebody else. A lot of times I'm not worried about myself. I think of myself last. The only times I do worry about myself is when I'm here in my little room by myself. Here in my room by myself. What? What? What's gonna happen to me? It sucks. What am I going to be? What? My value. I'm. I don't know. I mean, honestly, like, yes. This may sound. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sound like some douchebag tool or whatever. I don't know even the proper term for it, but. I'm a polymath. I'm a very intelligent individual. I, I'm an artist. Psychology is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, doing painting, sculpting, welding. All of those things, like anything artistic, pretty much me. I, I can do it. And, uh, weaving, like crochet, uh, random things like that. Like, what the fuck? I'm good at that. I, t I work with my hands really, really well. And then my job in the army is fixing computers. And that's very broad, vague, and generic. And I know it just was redundant, but no. Anyway, fixing computers is not limited to you know just like replacing something, but like I can repair something at the, I can solder at the component level, and all the way up to going through the programs and writing scripts or whatever. But and reworking the system to operate and function. Psychology, body language, me scratching my nose means that the idea that I'm trying to portray didn't come out as well as I want to say, and pretty much that's true. But um, the idea that I had was me fixing computers. Like yes, I fixed them, but because of stupid policy and rules, I'm not really allowed to go into a machine because it will warrant to you know void the warranty. The army doesn't want to lose money. It's stupid and lame in my laptop. I'm sorry. It's my laptop. I can do it. So I'm um, fix computers, artistic, psychological. Like I can understand that. I can coordinate things. I'm a good coordinator, like parties and everything. I'm great at that. I think I'm popular. I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of people that, I have a lot of friends. But, the thing at work is just, even with people on an everyday basis, is, I can talk to someone straight into the face for five minutes 
and 20 minutes later that person cannot remember the conversation I had with them at all and last week at work the army has this little hold my hand parent weird thing going on where I have to tell my supervisors appointments and medical stuff I have going on well I told three individuals three that I had an appointment the following morning not to expect to see me next morning two of them are a certain rank and one of them is very like the ranking system in the military is kind of weird, but like one of them, two of them E5, one of them a chief. I stopped them for five minutes to tell them, like straight in the face, look in the eye. Hey, tomorrow I have this going on, certain time, everything, don't blah, 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 you know? And then what happens? They're freaking the fuck out where I am. They're not tracking me, they're like considering I'm going AWOL and all this shit, and I'm like coming back, um, I was fucking there like early in the morning around like um, 6.50, getting my supper, uh, 6.50, had to be there, uh, the army has this thing, 50 minutes prior, and then all this stuff, but whatever. And go over there to the, the medication center, or for, for my appointment. Building was closed until later. Great. I come back. How our schedule works. Normally, like, it's from, like, 6.30 to 7.30 is a lot of time for morning physical training. But we're on this weird schedule, and no one's there. So, pretty much had to wait for the center to open, the building to open or whatever for my appointment. And, uh... Went there in time again and talked to the lady like, hey, my appointment was at this time, but y'all were closed. What the fuck was that about? And she goes, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you're our first person for today, so we'll have you there today. I was like, cool, whatever. Gotcha. And uh, so I'm there. And my appointment takes forever because I have this weird thing in my left eye that they can't figure out. And... So I'm gone, so pretty much half the day I'm gone. I come back at like noon-ish, like 8.50, whatever, get back into the um, office area and the chief comes up to me and goes, where were you this morning? I look him straight in the eye and go, I was at my appointment. And he goes, did you tell anyone about your appointment? And I go, yes, chief. I told you yesterday about my appointment. And he looks at me, confused. And I tell him, yeah, you were standing there in front of your desk. You were looking at your screen but then you had this question about like what a blah 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 like we had this thing going on and that he wanted me to fix because it's what I do like it was the, something crashed on there and I had to fix and I explained how to fix it and then right after that he goes hey by the way I need to tell you this I have disappointment in the morning because you told me earlier within the day I needed to go on my routine thing and now it's coming on my routine uh, vision, readiness, that's what it was. They track you in the military system and kind of like the dentist appointments, they have the optometry appointment where you have to do checkups and I just need to check up but then things took longer because I have something fucked up in my eye. I can see 2015. So it's better than 2020. But I got this thing in my eye that the optometrists can't figure out. So I told them, 
hey chief, yeah, this was what happened, and whatever. So that's what went on. He looked at me like I was fucking high. Like I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. Like, like he couldn't remember, and he knew that I fixed it, but he can't remember the conversation. And then he thought about it. And he goes, I don't even remember you fixing it. I remember having the issue, and it was fixed, but I don't remember you being there at all. And I'm looking at him like, how the fuck? And that day, like, I talked to the other, the other sergeant and said, they don't remember me being there at all. The following day there, in the entire weeks. No one remembers me. Like, I can apparently sneak around people. And they can't tell that I'm there. At all. And I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two. Around 220 pounds of fat. Some fat and some muscle. And some muscle. I have a belly. Not bad, but whatever. But fucking huge. How can the fuck can you miss me? Like, how can you not see me? Not realize I'm in front of you. <sighs> it's stupid. People forget about me. That I don't exist. And it's just so depressing if you think about it. You think about it. That you aren't important enough to remember. Even when they look, when you look at someone dead in the eyes and tell them information, have conversations up to like 20 minutes and not be remembered. And my laptop just went to sleep. So yeah. How bad that is. It's really, really annoying. really depressing. So there's that. Not existing. It's one of them. Then being this intelligent male who is attractive According to people that have dated or met, they're like, oh wow, you're perfect, you're hot, oh, all this. You know, you're everything that I wanted for in my life. Either ghost me in relationships, fall out of love, but fall out of love, or just, just disappear and never hurt, you know, get, yeah, ghosted, I guess. And then or just don't want to date anymore, they're like, whatever, and then they find somebody else, I'm like, and they're treating them like shit, and they're like, miserable, but, they don't want me. Rejected? Uh, rejection. Heads up. Being rejected, constantly. I kind of like gave up on searching for a relationship anymore now. There's no real reason. I need to pursue my intellectual interests. But deep down inside, like I can feel that I want that warmth. I want that other person there. I don't think I'll ever find that individual doesn't function properly, well, doesn't work well in the military. Because other military soldiers, especially on this base, are too concerned about their appearance of having other soldiers think that they're homosexual in any way. Being gay apparently is the worst thing in the world to be. If you're a male soldier. I 
gay military men on like as being as part of one of them. You find few, oh, they just want to fuck. A lot of times they just want to fuck. They don't want a relationship. You can say like, "Hey, you're in the army. What the fuck? Why are you saying some bad things?" Oh well, yes, yes I am, but I'm not your average military guy. Actually, they say it in the army that there are those people who are soldiers, and then there's those who wear the uniform. And I used to be those was a soldier, but being in this unit, how bad it is and everything. I've lost it. I woke up one morning putting on my uniform and I looked in the mirror and I can see that I was just wearing a uniform. So I'm not a soldier. I don't know what I am anymore. Other than a very intelligent individual who has a future in this intelligence and all this stuff like being bright has many talents but I'm never gonna meet someone that I'm gonna love if I pursue these goals of mine being a psychological anthropologist it's gonna take years studying, devout studying, I can't have time to go out date and meet some people if what I want to reach and accomplish get my PhD in like before I'm 40 yeah and then well, I haven't started college. I'm fucking 26 years old, and I haven't started college. I have a couple credits. I don't. Even, I don't have an associate's. What the fuck, you know? I could say yeah, I've been busy and all this stuff, but partly yeah, it is my fault. So there's that, and then the IT department, technology, keeping up with technology, and trying to harden your security and everything it sucks just that but yeah this video has been long so whatever I guess I'll say goodnight now I mean, it's a little fucking late for me so Night.